two friends are walking around the haunted Matlock Cemetery in Iowa when they see something possibly watching them from afar, a white head that's barely visible behind a tree. This is scary. Did you see that? Oh my god! What the, did you see that? What the was that? They aren't sure what it is until they go up to the tree. It was behind and get a closer look, or should I say it gets a closer look at them. Oh my god! What the here it is again, a man wearing baggy clothes and a possibly white mask, though his face is too blurry to tell. I don't know if this was a maintenance worker, one of their friends, or a genuine creeper looking to do them harm, but I do think they made the right choice getting out of there, and I hope for their sakes they never went back. Ryan Layton records what he says is a full-bodied apparition jumping over the table in his apartment. At two minutes, there is a loud noise, and some kind of pale, ghost-like figure appears in front of the camera. But is it paranormal or something else is the question. The webcam is low quality and skipping frames, so this could simply be somebody shining a flashlight directly at it to create the illusion of a ghost. Let me know what you make of this video, because to me it's kind of hard to tell if this video is supernatural or nothing special. Have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Duchy to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Dutchie is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. Well, Dutchie asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought. Whether or not there may be a paranormal theory, he also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the other's writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and airstreams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? This New Orleans restaurant called Tableaus is thought to be haunted by a ghost who will punish you for what it perceives as any bad beverage selections. Here a waiter is preparing the room for a private party and has finished stocking the refreshments when, coincidentally, the bottles all fly off the shelf and land in the exact area he had just finished sweeping. Three separate comments in this video further verify that this restaurant is quite haunted. One person said the window in this very same room unlatched itself, another said the fire alarm went off on its own, and a third person said they are never going there again because the spirit was staring at them. These comments, combined with this video evidence, is enough to build a strong case for the paranormal in my opinion, but let me know what you think. What do you make of the creature in this creepy video? Published in June of 2017, a car is driving through a desert when it slows to a stop. Some animals appear in the area near a fence. From far off, they look like they could be anything. Cows, dogs, the video is unclear. But as the camera zooms in and the car backs up and then turns around to get an unobstructed view, we see that at least one of the creatures looks like something from a horror movie. It almost looks like a humanoid doing a bear crawl, but I can't imagine a human being able to pull that off. For as long as this creature does, the way it moves is not characteristic of any animal. It's unnatural. The creature continues on, trotting alongside the other animals. Is this human? Humanoid? Animal? Or some other unknown? It definitely is something I've never seen before. Todd T captures a large humanoid-looking figure going down his neighbor's chimney. 
He's too far away to pick up any discernible details, but the creature looks to be far too large to be a bird or pretty much any other animal. Whatever this is, it looks to be the size of a human. The mysterious creature stuffs itself down the chimney in less than a minute, at which point I'm guessing it roams around the interior of the home for whatever it can find. What happened to Todd's neighbor is anyone's guess. This is some serious EMF gone wrong. Published by Dark Life in March of 2022, Dennis held an EMF session in the basement of this old house in which girls are said to have gone missing. After spending some time in the basement, he hears something in the wardrobe. As he reaches toward it, the wardrobe starts to rock aggressively. Dennis runs from it, and in doing so appears to hurt his leg amongst all the rubbish in the basement. He looks back for a moment but decides it's best to leave the house. And after seeing this shell of a haunted home, wouldn't you? This small outpost, known only as the Black Mailbox, is one of the many classic mysteries of Area 51. It is actually two containers stacked on top of each other as shown here. One day while filming the black mailbox site at random, a nondescript white car with heavily tinted windows pulls up and unlocks it. They totally ignore the fact that they are being recorded, which is something all personnel from Area 51 seem to be trained to do. Meanwhile, whoever is recording decides not to approach any closer, most likely because they thought it was a government vehicle on official business. The camera person sticks around for about half a minute longer before presumably getting out of there fast. This video of a mysterious creature was published to YouTube by Real Ghost Official 007 in December of 2019. The video, taken in the lot of a gas station, shows a slender, spindly limbed creature standing on two legs. It is momentarily caught by the headlights of a passing vehicle before it darts off out of sight. It looks somewhat similar to the creature in a TikTok video that's coming up on this list. Perhaps it's of the same mysterious breed. It makes sense to me, but I guess it could be something else altogether. Do you have any other explanations? It's enough to keep me indoors. Amit Daksh has caught some scary activity at the Babina station in India that he thinks could be paranormal. He's filming a train pass by when a shadow figure passes in front of him at 20 seconds. He thinks this could be a real ghost sighting he's caught on tape, but I'm wondering if it's his own shadow under the train's bright lights. Something's weird about the angle though, so maybe it's a real person or a shadow figure like he claims. Freaky, right? The adventurer Abdullah al Bari goes exploring an abandoned building in Saudi Arabia in search of a poltergeist, or a jinn as it's referred to in the area. There are many floors to explore and each one holds horrors of its own. <laughs> He turns around to see a mysterious figure that could be a jinn or more likely the shadow of the banister in front of it. He continues to explore and the paranormal activity continues to stay one step ahead of him. The ghost keeps throwing objects at him, guiding him in a way towards a final confrontation that he is not ready to witness. He looks up in time to capture a glimpse of a scary round face peering down at him. Tell me what he says to it on his way out. Whatever he says seems to cause him much anger based on what happens next. <laughs> Is 
He quickly leaves before the spirit becomes any more upset. Ben of the YouTube channel Lanian Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here is a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness. It doesn't appear that Laney and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. Things can get out of hand. This video reveals when people and things have gone just a little too far. Sometimes those darndest things send chills down our spine. This video will make you question the afterlife. Tariq Elite writes, A woman goes to her mother's grave to visit. Her little girl seems to be waving and talking to someone and even kisses them. What are you waving at, Leigh? Bye, kids. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Tariq goes on to ask if it's true that they can see into spiritual realms. The video shows a sweet girl, likely not older than two, standing near a headstone waving. She appears to be looking up into the nothingness but seeing something. She greets the invisible specter, standing on the top of the grave to get a better look. She even reaches with one pointed finger before dismounting from the grave. Some in the comments suggest that the young girl's frequency hasn't been fully compromised yet by the earth, while others say that our ancestors are always with us. Do you agree? Our young ones able to visually access a frequency that we're not capable of reaching. This video seems to be proof that there really is something just beyond the veil. A vaguely human shape stands on the other side of a sliding glass door without making a sound. The faint outline never tries to get in, just hangs around the door for a while only to walk away. Apparently, this has been repeatedly happening for the past month, but nothing has ever been on the other side. I wish they would have opened the door to prove that this wasn't a friend of theirs messing with them, but I understand why they wouldn't want to put themselves at risk. Besides whatever this is, it doesn't really have much of a form, and I think I can see a smooth, flat surface where the face should be. It hardly looks human. This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sophia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sophia confirms that she saw it move too. Justin Minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Justin Minx's home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time, she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. This video of a girl brushing her teeth is said to have been found behind a dumpster by a nearby worker taking a break. Deep voices on the tape sound like they must have been slowed down, but her toothbrush sounds normal, so I don't know what's going on here at all. After 14 seconds of this, movement is heard off camera and she is ambushed by something that sounds not of this world. I get the impression that she was not aware that she was being recorded because she never looks at the camera. Maybe it was even taken on the other side of a one-way mirror or through a hole in the wall. Have you ever heard a banshee or seen one? You're about to.
posted by Omni King Arceus2 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The uploader claims this video may be proof of the existence of banshees. Dressed in long green dresses under grey cloaks with long hair and red eyes from constant crying, banshees appear or are heard by those whose family members or acquaintances have passed. The banshee's cry is described as mournful beyond all other sounds on earth, and when heard in the silent night, it is said to predict the passing of someone close to the listener, or may even be a warning of the person's own forthcoming passing. This clip shows an Irish woman named Nicole walking from a shrieking sound outside her home. For some reason, she decides to head out into the darkness to investigate. While outside, she pauses for a moment to listen, and the haunting wailing is heard again. As she continues wandering in the darkness, she addresses whatever creature is making the noise, saying she's not there to hurt it, but to help it. Not long after, there's a shape in the darkness. You can hardly make it out, but it appears like a robed figure. Again, the shrieking noise is heard. <laughs> the frightened young woman turns to hurry back inside. In the extended version of the video, the woman explains what happened after she returned home. She said when she arrived at the back door, it was locked. She went to another back door and there was a comb on her desktop. She says she doesn't use combs. She wonders if ghosts groom themselves. What is going on here? Angela Elliott added that if you hear the banshee, then an acquaintance will pass away. And if you see one, then you will. As a matter of fact, in the clip, Nicole gets a phone call telling her that a schoolmate was found passed away. Unleashed where my dad against it and all. Back in a sec. I'm sorry, what? But Nicole saw the banshee too. Will she be met? When a couple ventured into a lake on their one year anniversary, they set up their video camera to capture their celebratory swim. Little did they know they'd be capturing their last moments together. The couple was in the scenic region of Yemen. The footage shows the man setting up their video camera and entering into the water to join his wife. It appears, however, that the depth of the lake was not what either had expected. His wife was only waist deep, it appears, as she stands fully up upon greeting her husband. Holding hands, they seem to be playing and splashing each other. Then he takes a step deeper and goes under. He starts splashing around, as does his wife. It's unclear whether he had a hold of her, but both are soon being pulled under. The last thing you see is a hand reach up desperately and then stillness. A few hours after this happened, their camera was discovered near the lake by a passerby. In watching the clip, they witnessed the couple's final moments. The video was uploaded online where it went viral. It's a scary thought to have your final moments alive go viral on YouTube. It's incredibly sad that a happy couple passed away in such a disturbing manner. YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. On February 5th, 2002, Robert Picton was taken into custody by a Vancouver police task force who had found personal items on his pig farm from a woman who had disappeared. There were no other clues aside from the missing belongings, such as a prescription inhaler and other items. In other words, enough evidence to hold him but not enough for a solid conviction. 
Prosecutors needed more evidence, so on February 23, 2002, they sent one of their best undercover officers to pose as an inmate to try to get Robert to confess his actions. Robert hadn't had a friend in a long time and was more than willing to swap stories with what he thought was a fellow like-minded psycho. What he revealed was absolutely horrifying. The undercover officer leads the conversation by saying the ocean is the best way to get rid of the past away. Roberts is quick to correct him. With CCTV cameras rolling overhead, the undercover officer gets Robert Picton to admit something he had not said to the detective in years. The reason they weren't able to find any of the passed away was because he had put them through meat processing equipment and most likely fed them to his pigs. When the undercover agent tries to get him to say more about what he's done, Robert gives us a glimpse into what a person like him thinks of the people whose lives he's taken. What's most terrifying of all about this is how they were nothing more to him than a number. He sees no individuality, nothing to make them human or set them apart. They are all the same to him, a number that he wants to make even for his own selfish satisfaction. Robert Picton might have gotten away with all 50 acts if not for the self-incriminating testimony which was used against him. On December 11, 2007, he was sentenced to life behind bars. He decided not to make a statement upon being sentenced. I guess he felt like he had already said enough. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.